welcome to the great outdoors today we're doing a little walk uh, from basically from Catterwade down to Flatford we're going along the river Stour uh, but we're going through the uh, tidal area of it um, you would have seen at the beginning of the video the little walk that we did from where we parked the car pretty much for, uh, to here so you've got to have a little bit of a walk but it's not too far uh, you do have to walk along the main road a little bit but not too much it's not too bad there is a pathway there so you don't have to worry about that um, you'll be able to see look just over there is where Catterwade is that's where you would basically set in um, if you were going for a paddle on the water on the non-tidal area down to Flatford uh, which we've done plenty of times and as you would have seen in one of our videos as well um, yeah you have to cross the bridge which again you can see just over there uh, and you saw that in the video at the beginning and in the intro uh, we're just going to walk down to Flatford, we've got uh, some food and that to cook, some sausages and stuff like that to have when we get there. We've got little man with us, uh, he's in the carrier today, we'll probably let him do a little bit of walking as well I would imagine. Uh, we've got a few little bits of kit to try out on the GoPro at the moment, we've got a wind sock which we bought off of Amazon. I think with postage was about £3.49 so we're hoping that will help with the wind because it is quite windy today to be honest uh, it's very warm uh, lovely bright sunshine a bit cloudy but yeah as you can see but yeah so hopefully that will help out and we're also trying out a nest walking pole which the camera is attached to at the moment it's a walking pole which you can basically attach your GoPro to your phone your camera it's got multiple adapters on the top so you can screw them on so we'll see how that works as well today uh, well anyway I'll bring you back in a bit
Hello and welcome back. Just to let you know, as you're going through this path, it is quite overgrown at the moment. Uh, it is literally the beginning of July. Uh, but yeah, it can get quite overgrown, quite a lot of stingy nettles and thorn bushes. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, you've got to be a bit careful because uh, you are going to get quite scratched up, possibly wearing trousers might be a better option than shorts uh you know but yeah i mean it's, it's really pretty uh do get quite a lot of road noise still as you can probably hear possibly in the video you can hear motorbikes by the sounds of it uh so yeah you do get a bit of road noise it's not the most peaceful walk there is uh but it is quite pretty a lot of these sort of areas where you're going through, I've gone for a couple of these so far. You're sort of like you're engulfed by the bushes and the trees, which is quite nice. Quite like that, which is quite nice in the daylight today because it is quite warm. Uh, well, actually, I'd go as far as to say it's hot today. I think the car was showing about 23, 24. Um, so when you're walking through here, it's quite nice because you're in the shade. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a nice little walk. It's got to bear in mind that the path seems reasonably overgrown in places. I don't think it's used massively. Um, but yeah, really quite nice. Well, I just got to a point here where, as you'll see, there's a mile marker there. Catway you've now walked a mile. Uh, but you've also got another public footpath that breaks off just around here. That goes into Manning Tree. So that will take you directly from Manning Tree. So you can also get another path that will take you down there. And Flatford's a mile and Dedham's two. Right, just over there is Judas Gap, as you'll probably remember in the last video that we did, well we was paddling anyway, uh, we went past there and the uh, water flow was really low, it wasn't flowing over there, it'd be interesting to see today whether possibly it is running over that or not. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's quite a short walk, you're looking at two miles from Cataway to Flatford, that's all we're looking at doing today. Um, but it's quite a pretty walk. Uh, we can't go too far generally because of uh, the carrier we're using for the little one. Uh, digs in your sides. Uh, it's not particularly well designed, I don't think, really. But uh, yeah, it digs in your sides. So you can't really carry it very far. Um, as you've seen in previous videos, the little one can walk around. But there's quite a lot of stingy nettles and thorns and stuff like that around here and uh, yeah he's likely to end up getting stung scratched and all kinds of things so uh, we don't really want to let him run around here but when we get sort of towards Flatford we'll let him run around a bit let him out um, as you would have seen in our video when we did the paddle Flatford is a very beautiful place uh, we have this time remembered to bring um, a stove with uh, a lighting instrument so we'll be able to cook our food whereas last time we were supposed to but we forgot to bring anything to light our stove so we ended up just having a cheese sandwich rather than our toasted cheese sandwich we had planned but uh, this time we should be all right we uh, have brought what we need hopefully uh, so we'll be able to have a bit of a cooked, sort of, well, English breakfast as such in a roll. So that'll be quite nice.
Hi, and welcome back. We're now just entering Flatford. Uh, we'll recognise it in a minute. Just down there is the pontoon to put your kayak in or your canoe. And you'll get the mill come up here on the right hand side in a minute. Just there. Uh, and find somewhere to set up uh, and have something to eat and drink um, and uh, yeah then we'll bring you back maybe when we're starting to cook just heating up some water for Logan's dinner Little man's rocking about. Trying to cause trouble, in ya? <laughs> now we'll cook up some lunch in a minute. Logan! No, 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 Go get the ball. Where's the ball? Go get it. Oh. Good oh, kick. Hello and welcome back. So we're here in Flatford. Flatford's just over there. You can see the bridge where the hayway is painted just the other side of there. Uh, we're just having something to eat and then we'll be making our way back. Uh, I've got a little bit of thing to tell everyone. Uh, we've ordered our first drone, a DJI Mini SE. So hopefully we're going to in our videos get some decent drone shots soon so we're quite looking forward to that and hopefully that will improve some of the shots on our uh, videos so we quite look forward to getting that out and about and uh, getting some videos done with that um, so yeah that's pretty cool well we're gonna eat up and then we're gonna make our way back to the car Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're now just going to be walking our way back to the car. Uh, little man's behind me. I've got little man on this way. Uh, Kelly's just there. Um, yeah, so had something to eat. Now we're going to start walking back.
is now in when we walked past here earlier this was just mud hello and welcome back um, this is the end of uh, our little walk today we're back where we started as you can see uh, tides well and truly in at the moment uh, as you can see there um, not really quite sure what this bit is over here this looks like it possibly used to be a field at some point and uh, possibly the banks at first I don't really know and it got into the field because it doesn't look like it should have been like this uh, I might be wrong I mean comments below would uh, help if anyone actually knows what that actually is because as you'll see the actual river the tidal part of the river that leads down to Harwich is just here and if you keep paddling down there you'll end up in Harwich anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and make any comments uh, they're always welcome and we'll see you in the next adventure